Hi, I'm Leibet and this is a very depressing video about Holy Nova. What a stupid spell. Okay, so what's stupid about it? You think like, okay, when you spec that in your holy tree, that it actually uh, helps a holy priest to do more damage and healing at the same time. Because what does the spell read? It says, well, if you use this spell in an area of 10 yards around the player, there will be uh, on every single target um, about uh, uh, 59 healing till 69 healing per player in that area. But only on your party, not on the rate, on your party. So if somebody is not in your party, in your, in your five-man group, then they don't, cannot profit from, from this area effect. Hmm, okay, so in five minutes could be useful. Uh, especially because you heal and you do damage. Now the damage is a, to is a lot, lot less, it's only 29 to 34 damage on every target in that 10 yards. So it's, if it's not elites, then actually this could help a lot. Uh, at the cost at 166 mana per uh, Holy Nova on rank 1. If you put it on a higher rank, so if you take for example the rank uh, 6, which is the highest rank that you can get for this spell, then you burn 675 mana per uh, blast that you give, an Holy Nova that you give, uh, and it does then 181 till 209 Holy Damage. And uh, the healing will be from uh, 332 till 385, if I read it correctly. My screen is a bit, uh, the letters are a bit smaller on my screen. Right. How does it work? Well, I've got my gear over here. So it tells me I'll do on rank one about, uh, again, I have to read it actually. <laughs> I do uh, uh, 60, 59 to 69 damage. So let's do a Holy Nova. And the first thing you see is that it's a 103, 166, 106. This is actually a lot more than I would expect based on the rank of the spell. So where, how do I influence the amount of healing that comes out of it? Well, of course, that's gear dependent. And in my case, because I'm a priest, also spirit dependent. What? Because in the Holy Tree, I have this spiritual guidance, which reads uh, increased spell damage and healing up to 25% of your total spirit, up to. So it doesn't have to be 25%, it could be actually less but it is at least a plus. So, if I look at my character, I can say that at this moment I have 130 base spirit plus 99. And if I put a spirit buff on myself, I get some extra, 40 extra uh, spirit. So now it reads 130 plus 139. Not bad at all. Does it then also help me that much? Well, divided by 4, it says in the talent tree. So divide this by 4. Let's say uh, 132, 60, 70, a small 70. Let's say 68 plus healing. 68 plus healing. Hmm. Okay, let's try this again. 68 plus healing. I have 59. So, uh, this, that is uh, if you go to rank 1, so it says 165, so that doesn't add up. If I have the 68 plus the, uh, well, let's say a maximum heal of uh, 60 something, hmm, 106 does not seem to be the right number. It is less, a lot less. So that means that there is a punishment. Well, as it works with all the other spells, let's look at Flash Heal. Uh, Flash Heal is being punished by Blizzard by a 0 0.5 uh, times whatever you're going to heal. And that uh, is actually on your gear. So it looks at your gear, says this gear gives you, uh, or these abilities, spirit and, and, and gear, will give you so much extra plus healing. Well, let's do a uh, little calculation over it. Uh, uh, calculate how to call it uh, with uh, uh, 0 0.4285 and then you get your new healing output from your gear and spirit. 
when you do a heel or a greater heel, it's only 0.8. Uh, so that's a lot more of the original value of the gear and spirit that, that stays uh, alive. But with Holy Nova, it is only 1 point or 0 0.1. That's about 10%, actually 12.5%. That sucks a lot. That sucks really. So from all your spirit and gear, only this amount is uh, being left over. Even worse, as you are a holy priest, you probably have a lot of gear which only says your spell healing. So it's a healing spell, like, like this, this hammer over here. It reads, increase healing done by spells and effects, which does not read, like this hat over here says, increase damage and healing. That's different. So all the healing gear will not work on Holy Nova. Not on the damage, not on the healing. That sucks. So if you want to make good use of Holy Nova, you have to have gear that reads a lot of spirit plus a lot of spell damage but you don't have it as a priest because look at, 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 at a set item like this from, from Molten Core. It says increase healing. So you'll have a hard time having the right gear to use, make good use of Holy Nova. So let's do that. Uh, let's do some DPS and spirit gear. So like this. So now I mainly have gear that does spell damage. And of course, a few pieces of these are also doing uh, only healing, simply because I don't have the, the gear. I never looked at gear doing plus healing and spell damage. It usually is less than only the healing gear. So as a healer, it's not that interesting. Now it is. If I want to use make use of Holy Nova, then it is. So uh, this will bring me up to what? Well, the spirit is uh, still uh, considerably. 200 and uh, something, almost 300, so that's divided as again about 75 plus uh, uh, spell damage on the spirit. And I've got like 158 over here, so add it up because 305 is not uh, the right add right up. So I, I end up at, at something like 220, 225 uh, on uh, plus healing. So 225, 220 actually, I took 220. So that means that about, this is about the number of healing power I'll get per heal compared to only this. Damn, this sucks just because of this really big punishment that Blizzard gave us on this spell and on the gear that we wear. Damn. Well, it might come out a little bit better, especially when you crit. And it goes for the damage the same. This is about the damage, and this is the damage when you kit. Oh, let's see how it works. So here's my uh, spell. 145 for the healing. 144. But these were criticals. So as soon as I dive into normals, I've got too much crit. Four, five crits in, uh, four crits in five spells. <laughs> okay. This awkward. So about 100 for a normal heal and 150, which is actually uh, correct with the calculations for the other ones. So let's do kill something and look at the damage. Rank one, kill the more. Now, all right. So the boar gets about 50 damage, 15 damage, 50 damage, and then again about 15 damage, 50 damage. So does that calculate with what we have over here? 50 damage. So this is the damage list. So 50, actually it's a little bit lower as expected, but not much. So it could be actually less, even the spirit or, or, the, or the gear does not work too good on the, on the damage. It's almost, no, there's a difference, there's a difference. Like if this was like zero bonus from spirit and healing. So if I had no spirit, which is of course not true. Um, then uh, it would go down to 29.34. So I, I have some, some benefit of, of the spell and spirit, spell power um, for damage and the uh, spirit. So that's okay, that's okay, but I should have like a lot more 
which is not going to be very feasible. So, disappointing. But there's one fun thing. So let's attack two or more, because it will do the same damage on all. And I discovered something about the, the, the crit chance uh, on uh, if you do several uh, mobs. So let's aggro this one. Hello. Oh boy. Come with me, guy. Uh, let's get another one. Uh, let's another, another two. Or no, another this one. All right. So there they are. Holding over. And you will see it happen right here. So I do a Holy Nova. And this Holy Nova did uh, 19 plus 27, so 50 uh, plus uh, damage, or 50 plus damage on the one more. 75 Holy on another one, and 48 on one. But this was a critical. So even though it is, this, these three times that did damage on a, on a board, only one critted. So in this 10 yards around me, I can crit on one mob, but not on another mob. Even more, you can also crit on your heal. So this one says you healed yourself with a critical. And then on the other one, you did two times normal damage and one crit. So that's also interesting. But as I already said, Holy Nova is not a real holy, holy spell. So there's no inspiration, so the crit is not that important actually from that point of view. But it's still fun that you can crit and that you now know that you could crit on, let's say you have five people around you, four people around you plus yourself. You could crit on, especially when you have a high crit value, uh, you could crit on two or three at the same time. And uh, at the same time crit on two or three of the boars or enemies around you. Uh, is it a very useful spell to have for Holy Christ? Nah, nah. Maybe if you solo a lot, but if you're raid in a, in a raid, don't even bother to take this. I hope you're now better informed. Have fun playing.